Hi, I'm David Carnaway, executive editor for CNET.com, and I'm going to give you a quick video tour of the new Logitech Harmony Touch Universal Remote. This is the company's latest high-end model, and it sports a 2.4-inch color touchscreen and noticeably fewer buttons than other Harmony remotes. The $250 clicker features the same web-based programming and activity-based controls that have made Harmony remotes so popular, but the focus here is clearly on the touchscreen, which takes up about a third of the length of the remote. The designers have made some interesting choices as far as the look and feel goes. The remote has a nice texturized back. It's not like the backs that have that glossy finish that attract fingerprints. Um, the remote sits comfortably in your hand. I really liked how it felt. That said, heavily used playback buttons like play, pause, fast forward, etc. have been moved from their centralized position to the very top of the remote. About that touchscreen, it's got QVGA resolution and looks reasonably sharp though it doesn't have nearly the resolution of some of today's smartphones and tablet screens. The touchscreen can be used to select activities and devices plus access functions that don't have a dedicated button on the remote. What's also cool is that you can program the screen to respond to customized gestures such as simply swiping up and down to control volume. Clicking the favorite star on the remote brings up your list of favorite channels. Up to 50 can be programmed in and you can add, edit, and reorder your favorites right on the remote. The ability to make tweaks to the Harmony Touch's setup without using computer is a feature exclusive to this remote. While that may seem like a minor feature, making minor changes on current Harmony remotes is a tedious process, especially with the sluggish My Harmony site. Dedicated Harmony fans will also appreciate that your My Harmony account can now support multiple remotes as well as import settings from an existing Harmony remote. The Harmony Touch also features a built-in rechargeable battery that's supposed to give you about a week's worth of power with light to moderate use. With some previous Harmony models, you had to lay the remote down in its cradle to charge it. With this one, you prop it up vertically in its cradle, which is a nice change. High-end Harmony fans will also note that the Touch lacks RF capability, which means you can't control devices that live inside a cabinet or a closet. While it should work with I repeater accessories, it doesn't work with existing RF accessories that Logitech sells. So far, Logitech hasn't said anything about doing a step-up RF version of the Touch, but it may be worth waiting for such a model if your setup warrants it. I'm David Carnoy, and that's a first look at the Logitech Harmony Touch Remote. Thanks for watching.